Hello, today we are going to work on multiplying uh, polynomials together. Uh, a polynomial is a refresher, it's just simply a list of uh, terms that are added or subtracted. Uh, the, uh, uh, an example of a polynomial could be simply uh, 5x, just a, a monomial. Um, but if we want to multiply, for example, 5x times uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2. This is a very simple example of multiplying uh, uh, two terms. You're going to just use the distributive property where you take the 5x and you multiply it with the x squared and with the minus 3x and with the 2. Uh, so when you multiply 5x times x squared, you'll have 5x cubed. It says x to the first times x to the second. That makes x cubed. Next, 5 times negative 3 is going to be negative 15. And then we have x to the first times x to the first. That makes x to the second. And finally, 5x times 2 is 10x. So your completed product is right there. Um, I'm going to do another example using... Uh, 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 two polynomials, one that's longer than just 5x. And uh, after we do that next example, I'm going to show you uh, uh, another method to do either of these um, that is uh, popular called the box method. Uh, so next we're going to take uh, uh, two polynomials. This time we'll have x cubed plus 3x minus 9. And we'll have x squared uh, plus 5. And uh, so now, uh, again, I'm just going to take x cubed times x squared and times 5, 3x times x squared and times 5, negative 9 times x squared and times 5, and uh, then we'll add up all the like terms. So first of all, x cubed times x squared, you add the exponents and you get x to the fifth. x cubed times 5 makes 5x cubed. Uh, 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times 5 is 15x. And then negative 9 times x squared is negative 9x squared. And finally, negative 9 times 5 is negative 45. So you've got all your terms. You've got six terms because there's three terms here, two terms there. So that makes 3 times 2 is 6 terms. And what we need to do now is add up the like terms. We just have one x to the fifth term. But notice we have these uh, two x cubed terms, which add up to 8x cubed. Uh, a single x squared term, so negative 9x squared. Uh, then you have 15x. And then just by itself is negative 45. So that is my final product of those two binomial uh, those two polynomials a binomial and a trinomial um, so using this same example again I'm going to redo the problem using what's called the box method uh, the way this works is you draw a box that has the dimensions in this case three by two uh, so we'll do uh, just a nice big box here and we'll split it in two that way, and then in three this way. And you'll notice that this box has six uh, compartments that are going to correspond to my six terms. And so on the long side, we're going to write x cubed, 3x, and negative 9. And then on the uh, short side, we're going to have x squared and 5. So what you do is you go to each box and you find the intersecting space there. That means this space is going to be where you put x cubed times x to the fifth. And uh, that's going to be x to the fifth. X, x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. And then this box is the intersection of 3x and x squared. That's going to be 3x cubed. And then uh, negative 9 times x squared is negative 9x squared. 
This is the intersection of 5 and x cubed. So that's going to hold 5x cubed. And then this spot is 3x and 5. That's the intersection of 3x and 5. So those multiply to be 15x. And then finally, this is negative 9 times 5, negative 45. And you can see that those six terms correspond to the six terms that you had up here to start with. So now all you have to do is uh, uh, add up the like terms and you'll get uh, x to the fifth. Uh, we've got 3x cubed and 5x cubed again, so those add up to be 8x cubed. And uh, now we have negative 9x squared stands alone. Uh, 15x stands alone. And finally, negative 45 also stands alone. So there is the same product again, uh, just with a different way to organize your thoughts uh, again. And uh, some people prefer a, a very structured approach like this, and some people like to just uh, kind of do it in their head. So either one works. Uh, that's, uh, that's an example of multiplying polynomials. Uh, mainly, you're just doing the distributed property here. That's the bottom line. Don't make it into something that harder than it is.